So hello and welcome back to the computer lab on YouTube and in this video we're going to be looking at how to update your Plex server software on your Synology NAS. Uh, this video is not sponsored in any way and is purely a how-to video, uh, one of the ones that I create to help you if you've got the same type of problems. Uh, that being said, if there's any links in the description box below they uh, that link to Amazon or any online shops, they will be affiliate links uh, and all that means is that I get a small kickback on the profit on the sale of that product that you buy through the link. Okay, so with all that out of the way, the first thing we're going to want to do is log in to the Synology NAS and into the DSM uh, software and then click on main menu. And all I'm going to do here is log into my Plex and then just show you which version I'm on and how to upgrade it from there. So I'll click on main menu and then I'm going to click on the Plex media server. And then I'm going to pick the, the user, which is myself. And you can see straight away in the middle that uh, it's telling me there the Plex Media Server update is available uh, for the server. My name and my server, yours will be different. And I can click on a link here to click download. Now, the number next to it, that is the version that it's saying is available. So 1.194. So you can also skip the version from here, but I'm going to show you another way to get it as well. You can click on download now and download it to somewhere on your computer or onto your NAS if you want to do. Um, but I'm going to show you as well the other way to do it where you can actually go to the main uh, Plex website to download it from there. So if you go up to the top right hand corner, click on the spanner and screwdriver, the settings icon, and this will open up the menu on the left hand side. Uh, and obviously if you're used to this menu, you'll see a few different things down the list here, you know, where you get your playlist and all the other bits and pieces. But the thing that we want is in settings in general. So click on that. And then this will then bring up what version we're currently on. It's also telling me that there's an update available. Um, so from here, obviously it's saying it's 1.18 five that I'm currently on and we want the uh, the one that was at uh, the newer version so I'll put the link in the description below but we'll type into Google Plex media server downloads click on the link and then we need to pick up the Synology tab from there so that's the address but where it says Plex media server pick up Synology which is what we're going to update and it's telling us there that this version 1.19.4 is the one that's available so in here i can now download it direct if i didn't do it earlier uh, from the actual uh, synology dsm software itself so i can click choose on package to download it and that'll download that file to my computer uh, and then i can save that into my downloads folder or wherever it be so you can see i've done it already done it it's already downloaded so i'm going to show in folder and i've picked the file up so we can see what we've got and the reason why I'm doing this is just to show you the uh, that you can double check that the link that you followed in your Synology DSM is the most up to date and is also the correct version that you should be on. So I can check the version number against that, which is the file I downloaded from within the DSM Synology uh, against the actual file that's available on the Plex main website. If I'm downloading it direct from the Plex main website, I'll click on choose package and then I'll pick the one that's relevant to my Synology NAS. I'm doing a DS214 play, so mine would be the top link that it's brought up there. If you're running a different Synology and it's a different model number, then you would obviously pick one of the uh, other files out of that menu. It could be one of the ARM ones, the Intel 64 bit. Like I said, mine's a DS214 play, so I'd click on that and then download it and save it somewhere on my computer, or maybe save it somewhere on my NAS, because I can install it from there as well if I wanted to. So if you want to do one final check, you can click on the Plex server and just double check again the version number against the one that you've downloaded uh, at this point. If you really want to be sort of belt and braces and double check on everything. So once you've done that, then you can then go back into your Synology uh, NAS, the DSM software. And then from here, we want to be uh, clicking on the package center and we need to be finding the uh, Plex media server in the package center on the Synology. NAS and uh, when you find the Plex Media Server, which there it is, click on there. We then get the menu for the Plex Media Server where it says uninstall. Just click to the right of the radio button uh, and then we should get a, a menu option with a little arrow next to it where we can uh, stop the process or we can uninstall it. Click on stop because that's what we want to do. We want to stop uh, Plex Media Server from running. Uh, and like I said earlier, mine's the DS214 Play, which is the older NAS, Synology NAS. Uh, and it's now asking us, are you sure you want to stop it? So click yes. So because it's the older one, it takes it a while to do anything. So I'm going to speed this section up. Yours might be quicker if it's a newer uh, Synology NAS drive than mine. Uh, mine, like I said, is a DS214 Play and it's showing its age. So once this is finished, we can then click on the manual install button in the top right hand corner. 
and it's uploaded package so we need to browse to the file that we downloaded earlier i save mine to the downloads folder so obviously make sure you pick up the right file click on the file that we downloaded click on open and then from here click on the next button and then we'll get the processing prompt and once it's finished processing it will ask us are we sure we want to uh, install it uh, and it'll I think it comes up with there's the error saying it's an unknown, uh, not an error as such. It comes up with a prompt and it's from an unknown developer. So yeah, there you go. So the package is installed by an unknown publisher. Are you sure you want to continue? Uh, it always comes up with that. So as long as you've got it from the Plex website or you've downloaded it from the link uh, that I showed right at the beginning, then you're going to know that this is right. So we just need to click on yes from here. And then we get one last question at the end here so the wizard will apply the following settings and start updating the package we can check the uh, the version number again there click on the apply button again i'll speed this bit up um, and you can see the spinning dots there because i'll speed mine up this part of the video and then we should get to the loading bit once it's done the applied that and then we can click on the run button just underneath plex media server and once we've clicked on run that should be the plex media server up Updated. Uh, once we've got it up and running, again it's taking mine a while to load, so I'll speed this bit up. But once we've got it up and running, we can then log back into Plex uh, to double check the version. I was closing the tabs there uh, just so it doesn't get mixed up with uh, the old pages um, against the new media server. So now we've loaded. So now we can go out to the open button and click on open. And this is just us double checking that the Plex is to the um, up to the right version number. So follow the same procedure we did right at the beginning. Uh, we can go across to the spanner and the screwdriver for the settings menu in the top right hand corner. Click on that, down into settings in general. And then we get the box here, which tells us our version number, which is the one that we made a note of earlier. And it's also saying it is now up to date. So that's it. That's how to update your Plex media server on your Synology NAS. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit me up with a like. There's a thumbs up below. Please do hit me up with any comments below. And please do subscribe to my channel. It all helps in creating more videos like this. And thanks again for watching the Computer Lab on YouTube.